I got up this morning about 4.30, got prepared. Uh, I just can't lay in the bed when there's people losing family. Local Tennessee residents and rescue crews searched for the dozens feared missing on Monday after record rains and flash flooding ravaged parts of Tennessee over the weekend. The floods swept away homes and buildings, leaving at least 21 dead. Humphreys County Emergency Management Agency said rescuers were searching through houses, rubble and debris for 40 people still missing in the area directly west of Nashville. Record rainfall of up to 17 inches drenched some areas, sparking massive flooding on Saturday. Especially hard hit was this Humphreys County town of Waverly, where hundreds of homes were left uninhabitable. Waverly Mayor Wallace Frazier told the Tennessean newspaper that those killed in the flooding ranged in age from babies to the elderly. Well, I'm going to hunt all day if it's what it takes. Local McEwen resident Kenny Rochelle sprung into action early Monday morning to help. My son got information that his boss and his wife and eight-year-old son was possibly getting swept away. So we jumped in the car and ran down toward their house. And luckily a guy come with a flat-bottom boat. And my son got in with him, and they got them all off the roof. It, ten more minutes, they probably wouldn't have made it. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee on Sunday acknowledged a, quote, tremendous loss of life. President Joe Biden has said the federal government stood ready to, quote, offer any assistance they need for this terrible moment.